When we look up at the night sky, the stars we see are just a tiny fraction of the countless stars that populate our galaxy. Among these stars, the most common type by far is one that often goes unnoticed due to its faintness, the red dwarf. Despite their relative obscurity, red dwarfs play a crucial role in the universe. This video delves into the fascinating world of red dwarfs, explaining what they are, their unique characteristics, and their significance in the cosmos. Red dwarfs are a type of main-sequence star, which means they are in the stable part of their life cycle, burning hydrogen in their cores to produce energy. What sets red dwarfs apart is their mass and temperature. They are smaller, cooler, and dimmer than stars like our sun. Red dwarfs have masses ranging from about 0.08 to 0.6 times the mass of the sun. Their surface temperatures are relatively low, between 2,500 and 4,000 degrees Celsius, giving them a reddish hue. This is much cooler compared to the sun's surface temperature of approximately 5,500 degrees Celsius. Because of their low temperatures, red dwarfs are much dimmer, often emitting only a fraction of the sun's light. Red dwarfs are the most abundant stars in the Milky Way galaxy, making up about 70 to 80 percent of all stars. Despite their prevalence, they are difficult to see with the naked eye due to their low luminosity. Most of the stars visible in the night sky are much brighter and larger than red dwarfs. The life cycle of a red dwarf is fascinatingly different from that of larger stars. Due to their low mass, red dwarfs burn their fuel very slowly, leading to incredibly long lifespans. Red dwarfs form in much the same way as other stars. A cloud of gas and dust, known as a nebula, collapses under the force of gravity. As the material condenses, it heats up and eventually ignites nuclear fusion in the core, marking the birth of a red dwarf. One of the most remarkable aspects of red dwarfs is their longevity. Because they burn their hydrogen fuel so slowly, they can remain on the main sequence for trillions of years. For context, the sun's main sequence lifespan is about 10 billion years, while red dwarfs can last from tens of billions to up to a hundred trillion years or more. Unlike larger stars that end their lives in dramatic supernovae, red dwarfs have a much more subdued demise. Over time, they will exhaust their hydrogen fuel and gradually cool and dim, eventually becoming faint white dwarfs. However, given their immense lifespans, no red dwarf has yet reached this stage in the observable universe. Red dwarfs are of particular interest in the search for exoplanets and potentially habitable worlds. Their small size and low luminosity create unique conditions for planets in their orbit. The habitable zone, or Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions might be right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. For red dwarfs, this zone is much closer to the star compared to our sun, due to their lower energy output. Planets within this zone could potentially harbor life. While red dwarfs offer intriguing possibilities for habitability, there are also significant challenges. Many red dwarfs exhibit strong stellar flares, which can bombard nearby planets with harmful radiation. Additionally, planets in close orbits may become tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star while the other remains in perpetual darkness, potentially creating extreme temperature variations. Despite these challenges, several exciting exoplanet discoveries have been made around red dwarfs. Proxima b, orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system, is within the habitable zone. The TRAPPIST-1 system, with its seven Earth-sized planets, has captivated scientists with its potential for further study. Red dwarfs are not only fascinating in their own right but also play a crucial role in our broader understanding of the galaxy and stellar evolution. By studying red dwarfs, astronomers gain insights into the overall population of stars in the Milky Way. Their abundance provides a more complete picture of the galaxy's structure and composition.